Smite patch 10.10 brings a new god, plenty of balance changes to items and gods, new skins and more. Here's your quick patch day breakdown of everything you need to know. So first up, as always, the skins. In the Festival of Spirits event, there are six new skins. Necromalus Matikaras, Tabby Toil Ganesha, Skeletal Slayer Achilles, Synth Weaver Nox, Robo Rats Ratatoska, and Biting Countess Maman Brigitte. Maman also has her standard recolors, mastery skins, and year 10 pass recolor, Ascended Maman. More on her in a second. But the final skins for this patch are from the Odyssey, Spirit Dancer Pele, the Spectacular Changa, and Bionic Bruiser T. But let's move on and cover Maman Brigitte, Smite's newest mage. I'll only cover her briefly here for the sake of time, but I do have a full ability overview video that goes more in depth already up on my channel. So first up, Maman is a mage, but is designed as a magical assassin intended for jungle. Her passive stacks up soul spikes on enemies hit by her abilities and basic attacks. After reaching 5 stacks, the spikes pierce the enemy doing a percentage of your power in damage that's based on the enemy's missing health at the time. Maman's one breathes fire in a cone and burns fuel over time. This can be toggled on and off as long as you have fuel. When you run out of fuel or reactivate the ability early, Maman stuns enemies in a circle around her and the ability goes on cooldown. Her 2 is a wavy snake projectile that damages and marks enemies hit. Marked enemies take additional damage every time Maman damages them. This damage procs her spikes as well. Maman's 3 is a dash that if it connects with an enemy god, she possesses them. Maman can't be targeted while inside an enemy god and accumulates spikes on them the longer she stays in, up to 2 seconds. At any time or after the 2 seconds is up, she can dash out of the enemy or cancel the ability early to just pop out next to them. And finally, Maman's ult is a giant AoE energy ball that damages and knocks up enemies hit. The size grows based on how many soul orbs Maman has at the time. You gain soul orbs every time you activate 5 spikes from her passive and they wear off over time. Moving on though, Slash is getting some minor changes to help games not last as long. Increased gold and XP spooling, shorter respawn on Apophis and more structure damage on the buff it gives, as well as miss pods on the side of the lanes that hide god stood in them. For Conquest, the Red Spirit Totem now gives 10% lifesteal instead of 7%. Sturdy Stew's protection aura has been increased from 5 to 10. Party Punch's damage effect has changed from 15% of power to instead be 20% of magical power but 30% of physical power. A big buff for physicals and a small buff for magical users of the item. Durable Drumstick's mitigation on first hit effect also went from 20% to 40% this patch. Moving into normal item changes though, first up is the buffs. Breastplate of Valor got a cost reduction and MP5 increase. Its glyphs also got some buffs. Determination's protections per stack went from 5 to 7, while Vigilance's basic attack damage reduction effect went from 15% to 25%. Runeforged Hammer gets a similar treatment with more power and damage taken debuff on the base item, while Flameforged Hammer gets more damage on the burn, and Runebreaking Hammer gets more reduction on the damage dealt, as well as the damage taken from the base item itself. Atalanta's Bow gets a cost reduction and physical power increase, Demonic Grip gets 10 more magical power, and finally for items, Fayblessed Hoop's health shields went from 3% to 5% of max HP. Moving into god changes though, first up, Achilles gets some buffs. His 2 now gets 3 max heals at all ranks, except max where it gets 4. Previously, it started at 2 and scaled up to 4. His 3 also gets a decreased mana cost and more damage per hit. Arteo gets a reduced cooldown on her 1 in both forms and increased damage on her bare form 3. Baron Samdi gets more mitigations during his ult channel. Cerberus gets some of the biggest buffs of the patch with his 2 proc shred going from 13 per stack to 17, so that's 39 to 51 in total, as well as his ult now dealing more damage. Charybdis now gets less of a reduction on item effect damage, so she now deals slightly more with item procs on that multi-hit of her chain. She also gets a reduced cooldown on cap size. Kukulan gets increased base damage on his 1 and 3 in both forms. Daji gets more damage on her 2 and a reduced cooldown on her 3. Heimdall gets more percent power from his passive vision and a reduced cooldown on his 1. Kumba gets a reduced cooldown on his 1 as well and more damage on his 2. Lancelot's base MP5 has been bug fixed. It was previously way lower than intended so should now be much more manageable and his 1 also got a 2 second cooldown reduction. Surtur's 1 now gains more scaling magical damage per stack. The Morrigan gets more scaling on her 1 and more base damage on her 2. The Mana gets a cooldown decrease to his 2 and more damage on his 3. And finally, some nerfs for this patch's top performance. Amaterasu's attack speed she got on her one last patch has been nerfed down a bit. Alquang's ult cooldown went from 90 seconds to 100 seconds. Arachne's attack speed buff on her 2 has been decreased. Chernobog's attack speed buff got the same treatment. Hebo's 2 went up in cooldown by 2 seconds. Kali's incense power gain now lasts 2 seconds less in the late game, but it's the same at rank 1. And finally, Raijin's base damage and cooldown on Raiju has been nerfed. Hopefully this quick patch day overview was useful to you. Good luck in your games, and peace out you nerds.